I'm six foot two, I'm standing on top of the countertop. things that many of you have asked for is a full kitchen tour and I don't feel qualified to do that so um, Leslie can we give them a tour of your kitchen today? For sure it's my favorite room of the house probably. Her favorite room. And before we give you the full kitchen tour I need to first mention the sponsor of this part of the video which is the National Pork Board. We have a fresh cut of pork chops that we're grilling right now. This is the first meat that we are cooking inside of our kitchen. There's a lot of misconceptions about pork and the way that you cook pork, but pork is a very lean, nutritious meat. For example, if you get a three ounce cut of pork, that contains 24 grams of protein. That's a lot of protein. If you would like to have flavorful, tender, and safe pork, there's a few things that you need to know when you're cooking it meat thermometer. I used to think that with pork, you wanted to cook it until it's white and until there's no juices in it, but that's actually not the case. You wanna cook the pork on both sides until it reaches 145 degrees for the internal temperature. Then you take it off and you let it sit for three minutes. And when you cut it, you know that I like cutting things open. That's what we do on our What's Inside channel. But with pork, it shouldn't be super hard to cut open. It should be nice and tender and have like a pinkish look on the inside of it. Pork isn't just a healthy option. It also has a ton of flavor. I've got some vegetables here, we've got some rice, and we've got some pork. Okay, yum, yum, yum. Mm, that actually is really good. This was really good, and it's actually really darn easy to make. So, incorporate pork into your healthy, balanced diet. Visit pork.org slash cooking to learn more. Thank you to the National Pork Board for sponsoring this portion of the video, and now let's get on to the full home tour after I eat this. One of the things that we really tried to do with this kitchen is to make sure that it's a big, open, happy area. This giant living room right here with the couches, with the TV up there, just a nice place to lounge and hang out. And then you have the kitchen just right there, kind of built into the space. We're not the type of family that does like a formal sit down dinner that often. It's typically just like right here at these benches. We've always been in a house where there's only been four chairs. And I feel like even though there were four, there was always not enough room for the different chairs that we had and the sides of them, there are like these hard plastic white chairs and you put your finger down and if somebody else gets next to you, it like smashes your finger in between them. The size of this countertop is perfectly aligned to having five chairs comfortably in this spot. During the home show, I thought it was really interesting because we had people with tape measures that were measuring this space right here and this space right here and measuring our chairs. I mean, we had 26,000 people come through and so a few of them were like looking at the exact measurements possibly for their house. I thought that was interesting. The other thing that they measured was the space in between right here and right here because I guess people liked that space, that amount of space. Did you put a lot of thought into this, this amount of space or did it just kind of happen? We wanted large like access ways throughout the entire home. So our halls are more expansive than like the average, I'd say. So and people love this porcelain as well. All right, tell us about this top because originally I thought this was marble. It looks like marble, but it's it not has, marble, it's porcelain. The porcelain is much more durable. Marble is a little bit more tricky to take care of and maintain. Watch this, it is magic. I just moved my hand, I don't even touch it, and the water turns on and off. That's pretty cool. Bam, bam. It even has a timer, so if we do this and then we walk away, I don't remember how long it is, but after a certain amount of time, it will just shut off. There we go. She was doubting the whole time. Was, During the time like, lapse, oh, she was like, I gotta go get the kids from school, come on. <laughs> and then this right here is where we get all of our drinking water. This is the only faucet in the house that has this specific drinking water, but this water right here is purified. It's just like what you would get from a lot of the brands that are on the shelves in the grocery store or when you're on an airplane and they give you those little bottles of water. It tastes really good. One of the more important things about a kitchen is of course the appliances. You have a hard time cooking and storing food if you don't have the right Right, appliances. So let's dig into the appliances that we chose. All of the appliances that we got inside of our kitchen are chef grade professional appliances. We have this dishwasher that is awesome, gets everything super clean. And we love how we did the cabinetry in front so it's all hidden and looks really sleek. And then we actually did a second dishwasher. When we lived in Kaysville before, where we did most of our YouTube videos from the very beginning, they had two dishwashers and I thought, oh my gosh, that's so extra and excessive. 
and then I ended up loving it. So when we started building this home, I was like, we have to have two dishwashers again. No reason for a dirty sink and dirty dishes ever. And then this is the one request that I had. This is where the trash goes. That's right, we got a trash compactor. I love the trash compactors because I hate taking the garbage out to the street for every seven times that I take the trash out normally in a normal trash can like in our last house. This one does one. Then when you do take it out, it's just like this compact brick of garbage that goes into your garbage can. And then this is a weird shelf that I didn't really understand. This is for baking sheets, like cookie sheets. And we had extra space and the islands were like, what should we do with this? And this was perfect. We also have a funny looking one over here too. Is that what this is too? Yes, it's the same thing. During the home tour, a lot of people were opening these up and they said, oh, this is the place where you put your hand towels after you've used them for it them to dry. I'm not positive. <laughs> We obviously did not put a lot of thought we into did. these two I little think, areas, no, but I they're for something. One of the more important things to a kitchen, this is the refrigerator. This is the freezer. Um, here you go. Oh my. Look how big that is. <laughs> and the lighting in here is this really nice white clean LED. And then it just hides away nicely. To the question that was the most asked about question during the Parade of Homes. what it is. What is the name of the color of the paint of the cabinets in here? Okay, so, don't tell me. I'm not, I'm Something asking you. Something 50% gray, 50, what was it? Gray. I don't think that's in there. <laughs> Where is it? Those are knives. So Chantilly Lace is the white. The white is called Chantilly Lace. And then the gray is 50% gray, isn't it 50%? Gray something. Gray what? I don't know. I'm asking you. What is it? What kind of color is the paint? I, hold on. People were asking like crazy, what's the color of your cabinets? We we're going to call one of my friends and he's going to tell us because he came through the house and he's building a house and he's going to do the same. My buddy. Hey, Jeff. What is up? I got a question for you. Yeah. Do you know what the name of the color of our cabinets is in, in our house? Yes. Remember, I asked you know, like 200 times. Um, it's called um, Agreeable Gray. Agreeable! Agreeable Gray. Okay, Jeff, thanks. We're filming a video and you're on the video. Thank you for that. Thanks, Jeff. <laughs> All right, that sounds good. All right, bye. bye. Agreeable Gray. See, that is one of my friends from up north that is building a house. Three days after he saw our home in the home show, he went into a paint store that is four hours away from where we live right here. And he went in and said, I would like to get 50% Agreeable Gray. The person said, that is crazy. You're the fifth person today to come in asking for that color. So it is surprising to me of how many people come through the home and see things that they like and then go home and they want the same samples and they want the same colors for their house. And that's why they have different home shows. By the way, let's say I really like your zebra shirt today. It looks quite nice. Thank so stylish. You. Thank okay, you. tell me about this. Why do we have two ovens? Well, this one can be like smaller things. You can do a little, just if you want to do rolls or something, but you can be cooking something larger and this one at the same time. So it just ah. gives you flexibility. These are the burners that look like stars. Can you show us the flames? Sure. How do the flames look on this bad boy? Look at that. It's like a snowflake. It's a star. Star. star that's on fire. And then what about this little area right here? So I could I could probably do my French toast down here, which I've never done before. Really? I haven't used this yet. Another thing that we like is the precast stone that we did inside of here. So it is stone, but it's kind of like a man-made type stone that's made perfectly for this spot right here. And we also have that over here by the fireplace and we have it by the front door. These lights up here are incredibly pretty. They're really high. Kids think that it looks like a dog cone that you'd put on your dog after he went and got spayed or neutered. One thing that I really like is a lot of the lighting that we have, like right up in here, we have a nice track lighting that just lights things up in the different areas. We've got one right here, we have one on that side, and we also have light under there. It is great to have super high ceilings and it feels nice and open, but I'm six feet tall and I can only reach up to right here. We have these other cabinets up there that we can't even get into. I mean, really, the only way to get into it is this is the only way Careful. to get up here and open this. There's nothing in here. And even from here, I can't really even reach the top up there. Look how tall this is. I'm six foot two, I'm standing on top of the countertop. I'm five foot four. 
on a good day and I can't do very much here. But we decided to put like all of our bowls and everything go in drawers instead of an actual cupboard. So that works great. And another thing that we like is that we actually put some organizers inside of these. So you can look inside of these drawers. It's amazing. This is so much better because everything just has its own place and it's separated and everything. One of the things that was definitely an afterthought in this home, at least I didn't think about, I don't think Leslie thought about because I don't think it would have ended up this way, is the microwave is right here, which is super low on the ground. It has a button on it that you push it that doesn't work that well, I will say. Like, it's... Like, look at that. No, no, you're not pushing it right. Stop, stop, stop. See, I know, but I barely pushed on it and you it doesn't open. Push it. But if you push it light, it doesn't really go. You gotta push it a little bit harder to get it to go. And actually, you don't even have to, look. You just do that, you don't have to push the close button. Okay, and then here is the dining room. Tell us about this dining room here at table because we kind of have a matching zebra table. Oh, I didn't realize, but yes. So I ordered this table and it ended up being black and white. I thought it was gonna be all black and I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe we ordered this. And Susan thought the same thing. And now it's completely grown on me and it's like a piece of art. So I love it. And the base is gorgeous. We went on safari and after we went on safari, all Leslie can think about is zebras. I do like zebras. <laughs> Instead of just having a fully round table, I do like the shape of this. I was super nervous about doing an oval because I was like, nobody does ovals. How is this really gonna look? So we actually went and measured it all out, put the chairs on it, because I was like, I don't wanna look cheesy or off, but I absolutely love it's it. It's nice because you're sitting directly across yes. from somebody, yeah, yeah. in a way, like a normal table, but it still is big. I mean, obviously, if we're gonna eat here, we wanna get rid of this bouquet of flowers. It's so beautiful, though. Like, these, when I walk in, make me smile every single How time. How often do you have to water these? Never. Never. These are some fake but flowers. They look so real. They do look they real. They really do. Yeah. And so this room, whenever I walk past, it just like makes me have a smile. <laughs> Even in the middle of the night, like at nighttime, I walked past it last night and I was just like, oh. What's up here? I don't even know. I don't nothing. More spaces for giants. That's like long term storage. Like maybe some food storage could go up there. We do have a pantry that is just across the hall. It's not that far. Automatic light in here when you walk in. Um, a couple things that I love. I've told you guys that we're keeping it a secret what we had from the kids. It didn't work out so well for a few reasons, but um, I mean, it did work out because this is amazing. But check this out. We have pebble ice, it's like these little balls of ice. And so yeah, check it out. That's where we get our ice. I like to take my what's inside water bottle thing. We do have some merch if you wanna buy it, we'll put a link in the description. It's just the water bottle. But I put this ice inside of it, fill it up with water, and it stays cold the whole day. Even when we go golfing, it stays cold inside of there. We'll store some food in here. We still need to like fill it up with stuff. We're still moving in. We actually live here. Don't know if I've said that on camera yet, but we live here. Behind the scenes, there's still a lot of boxes that need to be unboxed. Out of 10, how would you rate the kitchen that you designed? It's like off the charts. It's everything is better than I anticipated it even be. Out of 10? 10. That's, okay. Oh, For 10. Sure. 10 out of 10. Well, if I could do 11, I'll do 11. Ooh, okay. All right, I am going to give it a t nine and a half. What? Nine Why? Because I can't push the button on the microwave. Oh my gosh, wow. I want to be able to push the button. <laughs> I do like this kitchen a lot. Whether it's negative or positive feedback, I really enjoy reading all the comments and reading about some of the ideas of things that maybe we should have done or could have done better. And um, what's your ranking? Let us know. Star that's on fire, flying through the universe. Uh, Leslie left me. No, I'm here. She's, oh, she's here, good. She didn't leave me, guys, don't worry. I was worried for a second. Look how that's perfect this is for hanging stuff. No, I mean, but if you put oh, a sponge yeah. on the bottom. I have pretty good eyes, but I can't tell which button <laughs> is the open and close from here, and I think that's ridiculous. I can't believe how much this bothers you. I had no idea. Oh, it's the worst. You're so cute.